You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and today I have what's going to be a new familiar face on Greater Brockton. I have Paul Angle, who's the director of Brockton Public Library. Good to see you, Paul. Mark, good to see you, always. Paul, we got all sorts of great stuff happening at Brockton Public Library. And the reason I say we is obviously being on the board of trustees, mm -hmm. but being a longtime library fan. We have stuff all the time. We do. But in particular, this Saturday, May 13th, it's like a trifecta, not to mention all the other stuff that's going on. So tell us what we got coming up, and we're going to put this on TV, and hopefully people will see it. I'm going to compliment you and the staff for the increased Facebook presence lately to, to promote all these events. I'm hitting the little interested yeah. box in the star, and it helps me because people don't read paper newsletters all the time anymore. That is true, and, and also Twitter. We're, we're, we've been very active lately on Twitter as well. Okay. Hey, if the president can do it, everybody <laughs> can do it, right? So what's coming up on May 13th? You kind of have it in order. Yeah, I have it in order. The, um, the first thing that's happening in the morning, we, we're, we're going to open up at 10 o'clock our, our brand new makerspace. Uh, for those of you who don't know what a makerspace is, it's a, it's a, it's a space where you can basically, uh, kids can interact with technologies. And I say mm -hmm. technologies meaning uh, it could be apps or robotics or circuits. It could be uh, an old-fashioned typewriter like you and I learned how to type on. Mm -hmm. um, it could be uh, woodworking materials or, or, or soldering. All sorts of things are in the makerspace. And you can solder, and you can also connect with a banana at the same time, as we learned <laughs> from the opening ribbon cutting that's, that's right. running right now on Brockton Community Access that's within great. our One North Main show. Keith Choquette cut the ribbon. Yep. We were all there. We have Code Connect there. That's so much right. for everybody. And better yet, we had an old decrepit room that we turned into mm -hmm. a very usable, pretty space now. Yeah. That's practical. It's, okay. a, be it's a beautiful space. Um, Pat Monteith has been just wonderful. Uh, running the space and volunteering in the library for us. And Keith, of course, has been uh, managing the, the LSTA grant that we, uh, we got for the, uh, to create the makerspace. It's, it's a real success story so far. Well, we're going we're gonna to keep track of it, and we're going to come on down when it's a busy day with a camera. Yeah. Okay? So we get the makerspace. Then you got a free concert. That's right. Tell us about the concert. Well, everything in the library that we offer is free. Correct. That's, that's something to keep in mind. So Unless all this, your books are late. Unless other <laughs> than that, you're all set. <laughs> Unless your books are late, sure. right? Well, in, uh, starting at two o'clock in the in the in the main room downstairs, in the uh, auditorium downstairs, or on the ground floor, is uh, a, a jazz and blues concert by uh, by Paul Spidell. He's he's coming down from from the Newton area to uh, with a, with a bass player, and they're going to do a duet, and um, and it's, I think it's going to be great. I personally don't know Paul. I'm I'm a musician, as you know, and, and mm -hmm. the community probably knows that by now. Um, uh, I don't know Paul, but he has a great background, an impressive background. He's um, certainly played the same places I've played, Johnny D's and, and the Acton Jazz Club and uh, Riles. Mm. And uh, he sounds like a great musician, and I'm hoping I can come in to see a little bit of it this Saturday. I'll be, I'll be house hunting, but uh, well, maybe I can stop by. Well, uh, and I'm hoping to stop by, too, in between other stuff <laughs> that we have going on, because I saw that. That was one of the stars that I hit. All sorts of good stuff coming up in... You and I are going to tell everybody about it so it's no secret. That's right. Right? Yes. Okay. We're, so we're going to keep doing, we'll be doing these regularly. Regularly. <laughs> okay. So that, so we got Makerspace, free concert, and then what else do we have? Uh, the last event going on, this is all on Saturday, the 13th, is from 3 to 4. It's up in the Driscoll Art Gallery. And we're having an author talk by author Kenya Brown Mil uh, Milford. Sorry. Kenya Brown Milford. Uh, she wrote a book called Open. It's a, it's a series that she's, she's working on. And I haven't read the book yet, a full disclosure, but I did uh, look it up. It's about a, a, a wife and a mother and a you know, perfectly put together woman who's um, got it all together uh, on the surface, but behind the surface, her life is just, you know, she's just riddled with anxiety and fear. And uh, it's a very, seems like a very personal tale. And I'm, I think it's gonna be a really interesting talk. I think, but I don't wanna be quoted yet, that there's somebody here that does a show here who might be related to her. Oh, yeah? Because the book is sitting in my other studio. <laughs> That's And funny. I saw it on the shelf. I think the last time I interviewed you there, it was over there. Mm -hmm. I haven't peeked at it either yet, but I think she's related. I'm not going to say it in case I'm wrong. <laughs> but um, that is a nice thing. We're, we're, we're increasing the number of authors that come. Yeah. I get a couple that I 
talked to, to about coming to the library to do it. I have to talk to you first and <laughs> get it all all together. But uh, and we like local. We especially like local authors, people that are from Brockton oh, sure. that want to showcase what their talents are. Um, because you know, I've always wanted to publish a book. I just haven't done it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, there are all sorts of subjects that you can do books on. Can be about your life. Can be about. Um, I have a good friend of mine who's a Boston Globe writer, and he's turned his columns into uh, everyday heroes. There was an article in the Globe, yeah. And I wanted. He just did a talk up at the North Shore Jewish Community Center. I didn't have time to go up to Swampscott. I want to bring him here. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to talk about that too. So, like you said, it's all free. Yep. Brockton Public Library, uh, the requirement to use Brockton Public Library is you have to have a library card. A library card. It could be from okay. any library. An OCLN library card is preferred if you want to check out materials. Right. Old Colony Library Network, which is Brockton and a whole bunch of other communities. Right. There are different networks. Towns really right next door have, I think, Sales is one of the other sales networks. Sales is just south of But all I know is our students at Massasoit are part of OCLN. Yes, they are. And as long as they have a barcode, we tell them all, well, don't just limit yourself to the library at Massasoit. You got all these other libraries right. you could do. Um, I, I, I'm going to ask you more questions. We're going to do another segment, more generic, about the library. But anything you want to add to entice anybody to come down on Saturday? Well, I think the events themselves speak for themselves. I think it's going to be a very interesting day at the library. Uh, I'm very happy to have music coming in. Um, I want to continue to bring music into the library. I'm um, working on a grant to commission some original music to be written for the library. Mm. Uh, that's a little tease there. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Um, certainly the author talk. I, I, um, I, I, I love author talks. I love going to them. And the maker space for the kids is, is just going to be a great, a great um, afternoon for them, morning for them. Okay, so you've got, we got all the different types of social media and media. We have a website. We have a website. Which is distinct from the city website. It is. It's www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org. Okay, and then you said Twitter. Twitter. Um, I think it's just at Brockton Public Library. Which uh, would make sense. Yeah. And then we have Facebook. Facebook, which is just Brockton Public Library. Now, like I said, the Facebook is really good because people have been creating events on the Facebook. Yes. And if you like the page, you get the events. They'll come up on yes. your feed. Yep. So you got to not just look at it, you got to like it. Right. Okay. And put up a smiley face too while you're at it, right? <laughs> sure. Okay. Um, how about the good old fashioned phone number? And, and and not to mention we have we have branches to We have branches and in our next segment I'll talk about some of the regular regularly occurring uh, events at our branches. Okay. Our our phone number is five zero eight five eight zero seven eight nine zero. There you go. And uh, when you get that site, they hear your voice. They do. And they can go to different departments. It's pretty easy to navigate. So if you're not into the computer technology or the smartphone, because mm -hmm. we have a lot of loyal senior citizens sure that do. use the library. We have a lot of youngsters that aren't quite old enough to get into the smart <laughs> technology, although you'd be amazed. <laughs> they can do it probably better than you and I can they do can. it, right? So uh, all sorts of good things going on at the library. Yeah. Thanks. And thanks. Go ahead, Paul. I was going to say, and... and um, Around the, the, the our elder community, we also have a book service where we will deliver books to them. Okay. Well, we're going to talk about that more as well. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. You are watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the city of Champion.